Hello guys, and welcome to episode 15 of our vanilla City Skylines Let's Play. Uh, I'd just like to start off with a little apology, because I have not uploaded an episode for a couple of days. It's been off schedule, uh, and that's purely because we've just had the Season of Opulence release on Destiny 2, which we've been streaming a lot of over on the Twitch channel. Uh, if that sounds like it's up your street, do come and join us over on Twitch. Um, growing a few followers there now, which is really great, so if it is one of you, thank you very much for following me there as well. Uh, but if you're interested in learning a bit more about Destiny 2, and there's just been a big reveal stream about Destiny 2, uh, New Light is now going free to play. Uh, so if you're thinking about getting into the game, definitely hop over on Twitch, and um, if you have any questions about it, I'm kind of a Destiny veteran, uh, I'd be happy to maybe even help you out. Uh, but back to City Skylines, and in today's episode, it's something we've been talking about for a while, and it's something that we're going to do today, finally. Um, we're going to overhaul our city's public transport network. We are now set at a population of 33, nearly 34,000. Um, and we are currently having around... We're actually on just more, just a little bit over 10% of our population is using our public transport network. And it's kind of... As the city has grown, we've put in different kind of lines to service each area. But I feel as though it could be better. It could be better served. So that's what I wanted to do today. Uh, so we'll dive straight in and get on with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause the game here. Uh, and then we're going to delete all of our lines. Every single line that we've got, we're just going to delete them. And then we're going to try and make them interconnect a little bit more. So if you wanted to maybe catch a bus and then grab a train into town, you can do that. Where at the minute, you, you can't really. Yeah, this is going to upset everybody. That's why I'm pausing the game, because it's going to make a lot of people unhappy. And we're also going to try and name the lines appropriately, just so they're a little easier to keep track of. Delete our train line. And then we've got one monorail line as well. And then there is no night or bus tours. Okay, so that's the model we did. So we'll start off where we actually started the city. Uh, this is our first part of town. Uh, which is known as Highgate and the Grange. Uh, and we're going to just do a couple of simple bus lines here. Um, so these orange lines are where our tram tracks go. So we kind of want them to intersect with them. So the, the majority of this part of town, kind of the main veins of the town, if you like, are served by tram lines. So we want the buses to maybe come down to this part of town that doesn't have much. Uh, there's a train station down here as well. And then there's also uh, one other one over here, one over here as well, just serving these parts of town. Um, so let's go ahead and start. Where would be a good place? Uh, let's start in the industrial estate so people can grab a ride to work if they want. And I kind of want to go every two blocks, so we'll plot one there. And then the tram's going to come up here, so we're not going to follow that tram route. We're going to come down into this side of town. And we're going to stop on the high street here. And then just down here. And then the bus is going to run down this main road. And then through into this side of town. And then it's going to mirror the stops coming back. Up this side of the road at least. And then we're going to bring it up here just by one. So it's people can grab the tram if they need to. And then they're going to come back down here, down here, here, and then finish that line again. So people that are in this part of town can come over to this side, and they can also grab a tram as well. There's numerous stops um, near this tram line that will also help them to get around that a little bit easier. Uh, so to complement that bus line, we'll do our tram line now as well. So it's going to start at the bottom of the street. And then it's going to come up by a block and it can meet this path here so people can come and go across this road. And then another one just at the top here. And then it's going to have to come through Glebe Park so it can um, stop here. And then it's going to head back out onto the main road. And then it's going to stop at the public library. It's going to catch a stop here in the residential area and then it's going to mirror itself coming back down this way. Uh, 
there and then it has a turnaround point here too so that's just going to serve this little main um i don't know what you'd call this kind of a high street really i suppose isn't it and um, then we want to have a tram that serves our industrial area and um, so this is this guy's going to start just here he's going to be fairly close to the rest of these lines and then he's going to head down this way into town. He's going to stop outside the tram depot. And people can come and go to these offices here if they need to. And then it's going to come into the industrial area. And make a few stops. Kind of every block or so. Don't want him to be waiting too long. And then he's going to drop people again. Near this bus line. So they can grab onto that interchange if they want to. Um. And then he's going to turn around at the bottom, and that's going to complete that line. So let's have a look at the overview there. So the first tram line we did was um, Highgate, and we'll make this into a white tram. And the second line we did was the Grange, and then we'll make that into a orange tram, just to correspond with the industrial area. Uh, let's have a look at some bus models, actually. Yeah, we want the bar for your bus, don't we? Uh, and then this bus line is just going to be called um, see, Servicing um, Grange Robin Heights. So we know where that one is going. Super. Okay, so we've got our lines there. Uh, now for the rest of this part of town, let's finish off the tram lines because we only have obviously one tram line going through. And um, this one is going to come and go at Highgate, so we're going to start a new line. If we can just grab the marker there. Okay, so we create a new line. And this guy is going to stop outside of Goose Home, so people can come and go through the park area. And then he's going to come all the way up here, and he's going to stop there so people can walk around. We'll put a path through there, actually, so people can easily get to the train station. And then he's going to come down. He's going to stop at the metro line. Just about here. And again, that links people further through. And then he's going to come down to a little tourist area. Drop some more people off. And then he's going to mirror his stops and all the way back. And then that just leaves that one line served up there. Nice and easy. And then complete the line there. So we'll go ahead and name that, and I can't actually remember what this part of town is called. Um, Valley Heights. So we'll do Valley Heights. I need to capitalize that. Highgate. And then this guy can be red. Super. Okay, so that leaves them served. Uh, there's a lot of different connections they can get on here. We're also going to have to rebuild a few of our metro lines during this renovation as well because they're kind of all over the show at the minute. They're not too straight and efficient, but that's what we're doing this for to fix that. Uh, okay, so we're going to do some more bus lines. So now we've got these kind of major arteries that flow through the different towns. So people can grab a bus stop here, they can get a tram into town, and they can get on the metro if they want to. Uh, but now there's a lot of these empty areas that don't have a bus line. So I want each of these kind of uh, re residential areas that are dotted throughout the city to have their own dedicated uh, bus lines. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And um, we're going to start on outside Glebe Park here. We're going to drop in a new bus line. And this guy is going to come up outside the public library. And then he's going to start heading through town over here. Come and grab these guys. And then through here. Stop outside the park. And then he's going to come up this road. And then through here. I'm hoping so. Well, let's just take a note of that number. We're at 3,423. And when we finish this project, um, we'll actually start to look at how many more people or even less people if it goes a little bit tipped up um, are actually using these public transport lines uh, and then he can turn around he can actually uh, stop outside the park and high school and then he can stop here as well so that gives wood park its own line uh, let's go back to the buses 
So again, if they're heading toward park, then that is what they can do. And we'll make this a little dark green number. Okay, so they're serviced. And again, because there's such walkability in this area, you can see these paths that cut through this little wooded area. If they are, say, here, they can either walk down or come through these roads. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue not having kind of these roads serviced, but we'll see how it turns out. Uh, we'll have one that runs just a simple small bus line that serves our area here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll start on this side of the road. And this, will just, this is going to serve our office park. Uh, so it's going to come up through here. And then here. Here. And again, I don't want too many buses to be on that line. Uh, and that's bus line three. And that's just going to service our... Um, Grange Business Park. And that should do nicely. Uh, I'm going to leave this one empty because this road, this estate is a dead end. Um, there's a lot of walkability through up into the kind of hub of this area for public transport. So we'll leave a few people on there doing that. Uh, okay, so that pretty much covers this side of town. I don't want to go too complicated with it. We'll see how that does. If there's a lot more cars on the road, then maybe we can add in some different methods of transport. Um, but we'll see how that services. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. If there's anything we can do to maybe improve it. But I think from my experience, my very limited experience with public transport, this should work alright. People can interchange between the different me methods uh, and we'll, we'll see how it does. Okay, so next up we have our Walnut Square and Fremwood Tech part of town. There's no tram lines here, so it's just going to be metro and the bus lines. Uh, so we'll start at our bus hub, bus stop. Uh, and this guy's going to come through into town. He's going to drop people off in the social area. And down here as well, so people can walk through the path into the oil industry. And then he's going to head just into the university estate. I don't want the bus going through the campus. Stop outside the police academy. And then the high school. And then he's going to come down through here. I've also rebuilt this section off camera as well. You guys haven't seen it yet. So I'm hoping I can show you that in a minute as well. Uh, and then here. Here. And then he's going to go and come through our one-way system. To drop people off. Again, just keeps traffic flowing. If you haven't seen that episode, you can go back and watch it. And this is going to be Walnut Square to Fremwood And this guy can be yellow. A nice yellow bus. Why not? Okay, so that gives this part of town a bus line. Which is nice. At least it's going to work. Um, and then Belmont Hills is going to need one as well. So maybe we can service this area from here. Although there is no direct connection from this side of town over there, is there? Maybe that's something we need to fix. I wonder if we can do that. Um, this road is a little bit too close to the highway to get a bridge in. Although I wonder if we could do it out of here. I just want to try something here and see if we can get a little bridge over. Hmm, we can there. Okay, maybe let's come out just a little bit more. And then we'll see if we can get this bridge to a line. Let's turn our snapping off here. Let's 
and then just over there. Okay, that gives people another connection over. It's not too unrealistic, I don't think. And people can come and go as they please, rather than having to take the highway all the way around. Uh, sorry about that, if you can hear the car horn. So I'll be back in a moment, guys. Uh, just got to deal with something real quick. One moment. Okay, guys, I'll be back. Apologies about that. Uh, it's actually the next day now, and I've just done a little bit of work off camera, uh, just to... Try and take out some of the tediousness of this. Um, and I've actually let time play without any of the public transport. And it's interesting to see what's happened. Um, a lot of the parts of the city are starting to become abandoned because of the lack of public transport, which is really interesting. Um, a lot of commercial places complaining about not enough customers. Um, so it's interesting to see just how crucial that public transport infrastructure actually was um, to the city. But it's going to repair itself, so there's no need to worry about it. Um, we're doing this so it actually works more efficiently. Uh, just off camera, I've actually reworked our metro network. Now, we have to excuse this bit. It's a little bit crazy. It's because we can't cross the canals, and I really don't want to remove these. So it's a little bit snaky coming through here, but it'll be all right anyway. And then this other line follows the canal down to this point as well. So we're going to do some... Um, amends now. We're going to link these two lines together. I think just about here and we'll bend that one up. So we'll now set up our metro lines. So coming in from our transport hub, I've also moved this metro station to here as well so it flows in um, the other direction to this one rather than having them both facing that way and then going off. I think it'll just work a little bit better. Uh, so we'll start here and then there's also a new metro stopping Glade Heights. And then down here, there's one at Glebe Park. And then that line is just going to run up and down and bring people into this part of town. And then this metro line is going to do the same. It's going to stop here at a new metro stop in Stirling Park. And then it's going to run into our industrial estate. And this will eventually come round into our high dense uh, cargo area, which will eventually reside down here. Uh, it will carry on down there, and then we'll add a stop there, and there. So that's those two lines served. Um, we'll go ahead and amend the names of them, just so we know. Um, so Metro Metro Line 1 is um, Spring, Glade, and then Glebe. So Spring, Glade, and then Glebe. And the second metro line is Spring, Stirling, and Stanlow. Spring, Stirling, and Stanlow. Okay, so we'll make our tube lines red, just like the London tube. I did used to live in London, so I'm familiar with having to use the tube networks. Um, okay, now we need to set this side up. So we're going to go ahead and drop in a spot in this side of town. And then this is just going to serve this area. So up here. And then stop here again. And then it's going to finish in that line. But what I want to do is is link these two tunnels um, by adding in a kind of an independent long haul line that flows through this tunnel. I wonder if we can actually squeeze in another stop here somewhere. I don't think that's really that's not really necessary. I don't think. Um, add a stop there, so that line's just going to run back and forth all the time. Um, I can't remember what that place is called. It's called Valley Heights. So metro line four will be Spring to Valley Heights. And then Metro Line 3, which ran from Valley, Walnut, and uh, Cyprus. So it's going to be Valley to Cyprus. Super. Okay, so that's our Metro Lines covered for the moment. We'll just go ahead and change the colour of those. 
There we go. Okay, so let's take a look at our bus lines again. So we've done this side of town, and these guys in this uh, town don't really have a bus line, do they? Okay. So there's these bus lines in this side of town at the moment, but these guys don't have one. So we're going to make one for them. And there's also a train. Let's we'll do the train lines first, actually. Um, so again, this kind of crazy curve, the terrain here wasn't playing fair because it's such a steep mountain, but it's underground, so you can't really see it anyway. Okay, so we'll start from our um, train station here. And we'll start from here. And then come down this way. Add in a stop. There. There. And then just mirror the stops coming back. And that'll serve that side of town. But what crazy direction is he going? Okay, that's kind of weird that he's headed down that way. Okay, so there's no connection here for this guy. How about that? That should allow him... Yeah, see, he needs to connect onto here, doesn't he? That does connect. I'm really no good with train junctions. This probably looks a mess to you, like, public transport guys. Um, if you have any tips or maybe suggest... Uh, some kind of tutorial that would explain how to build these train junctions a little bit better. I'd be, be quite keen to know. Uh, okay, so let's try that again. So, coming down here now. Yeah, okay, so he's taking that route. That's worked. Uh, and then we'll finish that off there. There. I just added these train stations in off camera, by the way, if you're wondering where they came from. Um. Okay. That's really the only train station. No, we have one more up here, don't we? Um, okay, so let's make that one now as well. We'll grab this guy. And then he can come and stop at the new transport hub. And then he can come back down here as well. Okay, so that's the trains done. We now need to do buses. We've got a lot of uh, bus coverage to sort out. So this will probably... Take a bit. So this side of town is pretty much covered in public transport. You know, they've got tram, bus, train, metro access. These guys are covered. Um, just over here, off camera, again, you can see where the problems due to the lack of public transport are coming from. Uh, we did originally have a bus station in here, but I've actually removed it just because it was kind of a little bit overkill for a town of this size, having like an enormous bus station. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and serve kind of this... Town, Orchid Heights and Cypress Square um, with its own bus route. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start opposite the metro station. And then it's going to follow this kind of main road. Pick people up in the, in the residential area. And then it's going to take the highway down this lane. And then here. And then you can see how it's just going to flow through that little one way system. And then complete itself there. So that links these both sides of town and people to the metro as well, which is really important for them to get into the city if they need to, rather than having to take the highway and then come up through here. Um, I'm not sure, maybe if you guys have any recommendations, so like where we have these empty spaces like this that aren't served, is it worth putting a bus line through these maybe? I think this place will probably justify one. Um, maybe we'll just have a little mini one that kind of serves this new um, residential area. 
And that's just going to run through here. And then there. So people can actually want to drag that up to the top of the road there. Um, and then we'll delete that stop. So that gives people easy access to this area as well. Okay, that's interesting to know. So we have a bus line through here as well. This side of town's pretty, pretty all right. Uh, okay, I want to make one for the industrial side of town. So we'll start from the bus station, uh, and then this guy's going to come up through here. And then just going to make a few resident stops through the industrial area and then he's going to head back there okay so let's have a look at our main downtown area now uh, so we obviously have this bus hub down here so we're just going to make a line that serves this part of the city Uh, let's actually delete that one and come down this road into the residential area. Then we'll keep him on the main road itself. Then he can stop outside the basketball arena. And he can come in here as well. That sends a little loop through this side of town. Uh, let's do another one. I'll name these off camera rather than forcing you guys to watch them all. Um, I'll tell you what, let's actually go ahead and put in a one way road here. Uh, those guys are going to need that power back. There we go. Okay, so they can come through here. Uh, and then up the main roundabout, dropping people off at the plazas. Down here, here, and then where is he going to complete that line? Hmm, maybe we should have. No, I'll tell you what, let's not take him down this road. Uh, we'll bring him back down this side, so he can stop outside the the um, the monorail as well. and then he can come through the one-way system and then link back up to the hub. Cool. Okay, let's set up a line between this side of town and the next. So this guy's just gonna come in, make a stop, and then come back. So can I not complete that? Is there a reason why? So I'll stop in there. Okay, so he won't let me complete that line for some reason. Uh, let's bring him down this road. And he can actually make a couple of stops along the way. He can stop here. Here. And then he can head all the way back. Maybe we can mirror the stops coming back, actually. Let's pop one there. I don't know why it won't let me complete the line there. wonder why that is. Let's have a little look at that. Okay, there we go. Let's let me do it now. It's very unusual. Okay, so that gives a bus line to here, and then we also want another one. And this guy doesn't have um. Oh, because this is a one-way road, you idiot. Sorry about that, guys. You're probably like, super raging right now. That's why he wouldn't complete there. Um, okay, let's drag this guy a stop in here. 
there. Okay, yeah, that's what we wanted. Uh, which way is he flowing? Yeah, okay, he's going back down this way. And yeah, that that should be that should be fine. Oh, what a fucking mong! Right, uh, so this bus line again um, is going to come out of town, and then again it's just going to kind of follow these main artery roads through the town, and it can come back down here and finish up there. So I'll call a coordinator and name these all off camera, so you guys don't have to watch it. Uh, there may be one throughout industrial area as well. Let's do that now so we can stop on this side of the road. And then you can stop at the roundabouts as well. And then again he can just mirror himself. Going back through and complete that line too. Okay, so everywhere now has a line. Let's play the game. We'll let some time pass here. See, Shriek Farms has leveled up as well. Uh, let's see if we can pop some stuff in there while we're waiting. So we have a flour mill. Let's drop that in there. What does it need to level up again? Oh, it needs workers. We do have the capacity and we're producing more than the materials, so it's just a matter of time. Okay, so these are all travelling on the line. And then we'll pop out our little thing here. So at the minute, there's around 1,278 a week that are using it, which is less than half of what there was. But some time we'll need to pass for that to change. So it is going up on a weekly basis. We're at 3,400 and something. Uh, before we started this. So we'll see if it's worked or just made things worse. I'm going to go ahead and assume it's just made things worse. Okay. Some of these abandoned buildings in the industrial are starting to clear themselves up now. Which is good news for me. So it's going up. Uh, how's traffic doing? We're on 80% flow. Is there any major hotspots at the minute? It's giving me that weird, but there's nothing major down there. So this road is getting usage now, which is good. Although the traffic is beginning to back up on it. So maybe we should just make this a one-way. Just a one-way bridge over to the other side of town. Uh, I know what it is. So they're all trying to come out of the industrial estate here. And they're taking this road to turn right. If you look at all the trucks in this traffic... I bet they're heading down here. Oh, see, there's a way to tell, isn't there? There's a route tool. Traffic routes. Um, trucks. Yeah. So you can see them all there. They're all trying to get back onto the highway. Um, okay, that's interesting. Because their alternative, well, I mean, they do have this entrance here, but they don't have a way back onto this side. So maybe this should be a one-way road. Just into this side of town. If people want to get from this side to that side, then they have to take the freeway. A lot of places in Cypress Square starting to abandon now as well. How many people have we got using this station? Are we 125? So we're up to 2,202 per week now, with buses being the most popular. Uh, let's go have a look at the more popular ones. Yeah, 
Yeah, so the buses aren't too bad. They are getting used. There's not, like, vast amounts of people waiting at the stations. How about this one? Again, yeah, not vast amounts of people using it. So it's crazy to see that. Oh, look at that. Oh, because we have no power here. Why is that? Oh, I must have knocked it down when I built the train line. Oh, well, that's not good, is it? Wow. <laughs> Welcome to How to Destroy a City in One Episode. Yeah, so they refixed themselves. Now they've got power. But well, it's crazy to see just how important a public transport network can be to um, to a city. When you take it away, just how much stuff starts to abandon. So they are beginning to resolve themselves slowly. I'm just going to let some time pass. Yeah. Crazy. How's this area looking now? And again, there's barely any people walking through this park now. There's no one using this stop. Does it not have a metro stop in this one? No, it does not. Um, okay, let's add a stop onto that one. I don't know why there wasn't one there already. I just want to take some time just to glance around here and and again these guys all complaining of not enough customers and they are abandoning because of it so we've kind of got an abandoned part of town here now so yeah for those of you that are kind of big public transport buffs uh, I'm not sure if what I've just done is a good thing see how many people are up to now so it is still rising we're a thousand away from where we were at the moment uh, and just a little brief overview of our public lines there you can um, see what areas we have covered and what areas we haven't so if there's anything i can do to improve it maybe like lines in these little empty spaces please let me know in the comments and um, as to what we can do but we'll I'll just let some time pass off camera and do some little touching up bits and next episode we'll make sure that all these buildings are recovered and fully back to normal. They are slowly starting to pop back in as the tourists come back. You see the houses are starting to rebuild themselves now as well. Now how about this place over here? Yeah, this guy's getting traffic. This one is as well. How's this one doing over here? Yeah, 272 coming through that metro station now. There's a lot of people. How about this side of town? Mm, tram lines as well. Tram lines are busy. See, there's 89 at the stop down here. So that's good to see. I'm, I'm glad that the tram network is still intact. But yeah, I think we'll leave it there, guys. That's a pretty good place to call it. Yeah, so you look at this part of town now. It's totally recovered. Because the public transport is back. Uh, we're actually going to do a little bit of touching up here. Let's let's finish off with a little bit of... Um, just a little bit of detailing. So you'll see what I'm going for here. Rather than just... So, kind of spamming the paths gives kind of more texture to the ground, I think, in terms of, you know, it looks like it's a little plaza because there's concrete everywhere. Uh, let's actually take some of these trees out of the middle and put the trees around the edge of it. Uh, and then let's get a few bushes. Here we go, and then fill some of these little spaces in. Now we 
also want some park props as well. That's the wrong way around. Okay, a little bin next to it. A little street light. Cool. So that's just a way to fill a nice bit of space. Just spam the paths around and then fill in the empty bits with a few ploppables. So this side of town is recovering now as well. The uh, the tourist area is taking a long time. Uh, we haven't finished our monorail lines. So I've only just realised that. And you can uh, stop screaming at, the, at your computer monitor now. Uh, so let's do those. We'll create one here. Here. And that can complete that line. And then we'll do another one from here. Yeah, you can't make that stop, can you? I kind of think this line now, this N stop here is unnecessary. So we will delete that as well. Let's see if we can get some nice shots of the monorail stuff. Yeah, so there are a few buildings starting to recover here in the middle now, yeah. So it is, re it is resolving itself, but the tourist area is taking its time. So that's good to see. Disaster averted. Traffic's flowing nicely. How many are we up to now with public transport? 2,982 a week. Hopefully that will continue to grow. There's people coming through here now as well. Uh, let's actually grab our thumbnail there. Yeah, let's go for that. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching. Probably quite an infuriating episode for you Pro City Skylines players, but you know, we're learning every day. You know, we never we never claim to be too good at this game. But it's coming together nicely now. I'm glad we've finally done that public transport network overhaul, even though it has essentially killed off and dived, well, plunged the city into a deep recession. But it's recovering. It always does. Um, again, any comments on this train hub here, uh, do let me know. And also, next time, um, I think I want to start pushing towards that next milestone so we can start uh, the cargo coast along here. Uh, but yeah, that'll be a job for next episode. There's a lot of postal trucks here as well. People are using this one as well, which is good to see. They're using this one and then grabbing the, the bus. Why? Why are you doing that? Yeah, there's 400 people at this one alone. Yeah, okay. So that might need a few more buses on it, but we'll, we'll have a little look and see what's happening. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you are new to the channel, do stick around and join in on this City Skylines Let's Play. We are trying to implement as many ideas as you guys can. Uh, Ever24 recommended we build a cycle highway, which we have done, which is going to link up through here as well. Uh, and then it also joins up to this place as well. And he was right. We've got some people using bikes now. Uh, it was really good to see. We need to remember to keep doing this throughout the city as we expand it. And um, that's what this road is for here. And then we need to link up a cycle network throughout the city as well, which will probably alleviate some of this traffic too. Uh, you can find a link in my description to our Twitch channel, where we are streaming a ton of Destiny 2 at the moment, um, because of the new DLC that's just come out, the Season of Opulence is here. Uh, so if you're into that, or maybe you're looking into getting the first game, you can come and join us there. And then there's also links to my description, sorry, links in the description to my schedule and setup if you're at all interested in either of those. Uh, again, apologies for the slight break in schedule. It is just due to the release of Season of Opulence in Destiny 2. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, then do come and join us for some streams on Twitch. It would be good to have you over there. But that's going to be it, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all soon.